My name is Robert Praza and I'm the Center's Youth Services Manager. My role at the Center is to manage the Center's youth programming for LGBTQ and allied and low to moderate income youth of the surrounding area ages 13 to 24. I began attending the Center and volunteering in summer of 2007. I attended the youth program and volunteered uh, in HIV outreach with the Empowerment Program and I joined the staff in 2012 as the Vegas Empowerment Project's Outreach Coordinator before assuming my new role as Youth Services Manager in November 2015. The Center's a Youth Services Program serves LGBTQ youth as well as low to moderate income youth of the surrounding area ages 13 to 24. We serve them with a drop-in center five days a week, Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. During drop-in time, they have access to tutoring provided by Ansem Education Group, totally free of charge, as well as our youth drop-in center featuring a pool table, television, Xbox, and computers with internet access for homework or other computing needs. In addition, our Qvolution youth programming meets Tuesday and Thursday evenings from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. During Qvolution, we provide general social and support services to the youth, a place for them to meet with others, provide support, have discussion nights, play a game, and just generally meet their psychosocial needs. In addition, uh, we are also implementing educational programming, including a comprehensive sex ed program in an attempt to reduce the rate of teen pregnancy and HIV infection among LGBTQ and allied youth as well as, quite soon, part of our relationship with Ansem Education Group will include a financial literacy and employment readiness component for our young Qvolution participants. The Tuesday and Thursday evenings, currently our structure, we have a comprehensive sex ed program for an hour both nights of the week, and then Tuesdays are focused a little bit more on social aspects and Thursdays more on personal development. Sample nights might include on the social end, discussion nights, movie nights, game nights, art nights featuring, say, origami lessons, gingerbread house making, other fun arts and crafts for socialization. And the Thursday nights are focused a little more on personal development, activism, and engagement, including monthly social justice workshops with community leaders from such programs as AFL-CIO, Progressive Leadership Alliance of Nevada, um, and the American Civil Liberties Union. Uh, Nevada chapter. In addition, we also uh, facilitate debates and have youth-led workshops to, so that the youth get used to public speaking, sort of like a internal Toastmasters. Um, a lot of our youth who come to the center don't even realize we offer programming. For example, I've found a way to quickly increase our drop-in numbers by inviting some of the young people who utilize our basketball court in. It's an effective, quick way to introduce them to the center in a more deeper and meaningful way and get them involved. And I found that they're very willing to be involved, uh, especially in the colder and hotter months when it's rather unpleasant to be outside playing basketball. They know they can come in here and through our Three Square Food Pantry program, through a partnership with Three Square, they can get a snack or a drink, some kind of nutritional break, as well as a place to socialize and build positive social relationships with other teenagers outside of the academic environment.